Hi. I started us. No, you didn't. We're going. Welcome back to another exciting episode. AI squared is us. We, we are is. them. We are them. I'm John. I'm Hannah. And I'm here. And we realized last time. Yeah, we didn't even announce the person we were working with. Yeah. Um, and it was really Robert. long. Initial footage was like 26 minutes. Is his name Robert? Yes. Robert okay. something Culbertson Robert, Jr. Let's say Willem. Robert Willem yeah. Culbertson. So Willem was very knowledgeable mm -hmm. on Star yeah. Trek. Yeah. And I really enjoyed it. Yeah. You were so enthralled with everything we said. I was going to say enthused, but yeah, we were, like, we were pretty much on the same page. Yeah. I felt that way. Could you tell? But since then, we decided we want to get a little more concise. Yes. A little more succinct. Succinct. No sucking involved. We're gonna Some be awesome. Some people call it succinct, but I just think that's weird. Succinct sounds horrible. <laughs> sounds like you're sucking a sink. Yeah, pretty much. What you got for a mug today, Hannah? Everyone can see it. Um, a piano. Show them the handle, cause the handle's cool. Ding 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 ding. It's sculpted ding, to look ding, like ding. a grand thing. Mm-hmm. And he's he. I'm just rocking the happiness. Wanted to match my sweater. Because it's a good choice of life for everyone. Match life my sweater. choice equals matching. Mm -hmm. You know, I never have been able to remember the difference between a sweater and a sweatshirt. Okay. Is this a sweater? I have no idea. Yeah, same. John Klein Altering would know. I think it's one. Sorry, I failed you. A sweater is something that one sweats in for exercise. What? I have no idea. That's not true. Our, my knowledge you know? on this is very artificial. Let us know. We're really artificial. So we're almost to two minutes. Yeah. We're practicing so being we want to be fast. Succinct. 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 Uh, so we want to have some quick things. So do you have some news, Hannah? Crazy news. Do I have news? Yeah. I have a, a rap song about Hamburger Helper. We can just take a listen. I really want to listen. <laughs> It's even got the hamburger helper hand. Okay, I don't really, I don't really get this news story. It's like, here's the title. It's because it's from the Huffington Post. Did Beyonce just get upstaged by hamburger helper? Maybe. I think it's an April Read Fool's more to joke. find out. I think it's an April Fool's joke, but I got fooled. I was like, cool, hamburger helper came out with a new single. Fooled so good. <sighs> I also, jammed, I jammed a little bit. Mini rant. Not gonna lie. Clickbait titles. Clickbait. They are like taking you over the Click universe. It because it's like bait, like you're a fish? Yep. They're like, yeah. you'll never believe what happens next. Doesn't matter if you like your Except friends. usually you will believe it because it's a credible news source and they just want you to click on the title. But it's generally a horrible way of doing it because it has nothing hey, to do... we should try it on AI. We should like title it. Should we title totally our video that? Like, hey, this is bait. Click it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's, let's do that. The title of this episode is I'm Bait. In. Click this it. This is Bait. Click it. Um, in other news, another Huffington Yeah, post. yeah. I'm really psyched about this news. Yeah. Sounds really interesting. Um, a newly opened museum mm -hmm. in Great Britain. The greatest. Is promising Britain. to get to the bottom, bottom, <laughs> of bowel movements. <laughs> it is literally a museum mm -hmm. with poop. For display. Yeah. What are they? What kind of? And it's not the first museum. Do they apparently. mold it? Do they mold the poop? They they put it. Okay. Visitors can see excrement-oriented exhibits such as feces, though I'm not sure what else poop is. From more than 20 different animals, including elk, lion, and a human baby. I was gonna say they should really use babies. Even fossilized. That's poop. interesting. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, and the fossilized poo it? dates back. 140 million years. Do they sculpt it? Answer my question. I don't think they sculpt it. I think they leave it in their is natural it? form. Is this they a joke? They encase it in these little balls. Is this a joke? It is not a joke. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure it's for real. Mm, I don't know. It's a little weird. I don't know. I mean, I sort of hope not, but apparently there's one in Italy as well. Mm, Italy. Um, you and your wife should go on a romantic trip to Italy to look at the poop museum. Yeah. Okay. I think that would be a great gift for Mother's Day. Yes. To be like, my dearest Johanna, Have some let me poop. present thee with this to ticket to Italy, and here's what we're doing. Yeah. And she'll be so psyched. I mean, the upside of all of this is that it's encased in glass, mm. 
and none of it is yeah, if there hopefully isn't, if very there is an fresh. upside, that's it. Yeah. yeah. So I'm guessing you could go through... I'm really not into it. Like, smell-free. You could just look at it. Mm -hmm. Which, probably better than half of the nastiness of poop is not the sight. Although, really, it doesn't look that great either. No. Also, why are we talking about this? I don't know, but I, when, you, when we saw this news story, I started thinking, like, what other yeah, kinds of... Yeah, she saw it too. What, yeah, what other kinds of museums you could have, like, a mm. butter museum? Were you sculpting? Because I was picturing it like happens. sculpting the poop museum, but it's different. Mm -hmm. But like, what if they have like a museum that's just sculpted butter? Or like a museum that's sculpted ice and so it's like frigid and you have to wear like your parka. I probably should have researched this more. That'd be fun. But I wonder what your poop says about you. You're not even listening to me. Did you notice that he just doesn't listen to me? I mean, like, is moose poop? <laughs> to any other kind of poop? Or is it entirely unique to moose? Do you want to know how many poopy diapers I've changed today? Yes. 22. You could sing a Taylor Swift song and make a sweet parody. <laughs> so John. What? You're a poet, huh? That's pretty dumb. It's pretty... N no, I'm not. <laughs> I wouldn't do anything that dumb. You just don't know it that you're a poet? I don't know it. I know it. Okay. That you're a poet. So this month is, I mean, okay, so there's like another mini rant. There's like a hundred million things for every single month that's national poetry. I mean, it's, it's a national month of something. Right. Like, so any given national month has like poop. 12 different, yeah, mm -hmm. like it's the national poop month. Is there a poop like, day? I don't know. We what are you look talking about right now? Where are you going? Is this? there a poop day? Where, no, where are you going with this? National days have nothing to do with the fact that you're a poet that doesn't know it. Okay, so this month, April, is National Poetry Writing Month. Oh, is that like all the nano cano nano <sighs> things you Nano cano. The nano nano pino rhinos? Those things? Nano rhymo. Didn't you do that one time with Gabe? Rhymo Nemo? National you Poop Day is a thing! You will be amazed to know there's a National Poop Day. The 29th of December, we shall all nationally recognize our poop. See, this just sort of proves my point. I mean, it's cool. We're definitely going to celebrate that one. Super great. But there are just way too many national whatever days and whatever months. But this month happens to be National Poetry Writing Month, and I'm starting to write poetry for the mm -hmm. first time in forever. Yeah. The last time that I wrote poetry was just really, really sappy poetry to my now wife, mm, who was yeah. then just a girlfriend. I was gonna say. And I needed to make her my wife. That's so how it worked. Just I did poems. poetry. That made her your wife. Pretty much. So you forced her into it. Yep. Via poetry. So that was cool. Let's tweet. This is from at Dan Mentos. Oh, good old Dan Mentos. Yeah, Jesus. Who's the guy in the river? Uh, that's John the Drowner. John. <laughs> Baptist. John the Baptist. Pleased to meet you. Wouldn't it suck Pleased to meet you. <laughs> if he was actually known as John the Drowner? I kind of wasn't A couple listening. accidents and you're just like, your reputation is hosed. Yeah. Goes down the toilet. Uh -huh. Okay. At Siege Joiner. Say what? C E E J. C -E Joiner. C -E Joiner. There's a hornet in my bathroom, but I've already called the police twice today to report song lyrics. I'm pretty sure there is a maximum number of times you can call 911 in a day. Yeah, but let's talk about how horrible song lyrics are a lot of times these days. Do you think it's worth reporting to the police? Yeah, for sure. Okay. I'm sorry, but it's not too late to say sorry about that. Yep. I won't apologize. It's not too late. Okay. Is, are those song lyrics? Yeah. Oh. It's not too late. It's never too late. Well, this has been great. This has been awesome. This has been timely. We have extra time. What do we do with it? Bar you. You can dance. I mean, I've got an idea. On the spot poetry. I'm going to give you three words. You have to write a poem. Are you ready? Wait, with the three words? Yeah, somehow you have to make a poem about these three do things. Do I are arrange ready? them? Okay. Yellow. Poop. Glasses. Dear baby, why did you poop upon my glasses? They were black, now they're yellow. <laughs> black and yellow, black and yellow, yep. Uh huh. Uh, this you know has been AI squared. AI squared. We're so signing I know. off. I'm a rapper. Peace. Bye. Goodbye.